Hi guys, welcome back to Movies with Moya and today I'll be reviewing Never Rarely, Sometimes, Always. Now as you can see, I've kind of changed the setup a bit. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this was the original setup but since I moved to YouTube, I had to change to a different area. But now I'm back because I just feel like you guys need to see all of my face and you know if you follow me, I got a new ring light. So it's back to the original all up in my face setup and i hope you guys like it with that said remember to follow me on instagram at movies with moya if you like this video like comment share and subscribe let's get into the review okay so let me give you a little synopsis of this movie so first things first this movie tells us about the journey of a young girl trying to get an abortion yes you heard it a 17 year old girl she's trying to get an abortion so it shows us from the time that she discovers she's pregnant goes to get an ultrasound you know she's very scared and decides that okay after she goes to her cousin she decides that okay i'm gonna get this abortion done because she really can't handle having a child right now so let me get into the things I loved about that movie. So I feel like this is a movie everyone should watch. Because abortion aside, it shows all the problems that women go through on a daily basis. Like through the whole journey, they show you the harassment, the struggle. First of all, she works in a supermarket and the boss is always trying to kiss them always touching them inappropriately and it's just awful and then she goes home and then she has a horrible stepfather now they don't explore the relationship between her and the stepfather so i don't know if he like abuses her or anything but you can just see that verbally he's not the nicest person and then you can see where she doesn't she doesn't know she's very clueless about this whole um sexual education this whole topic of it because she's researching like all these things on the internet because she's 17 she does doesn't know what's happening she goes to the clinic finds out she's pregnant they even give her the wrong um due date and she she's like it's and it's one of those clinics where they're not a clinic that would educate you about all the options you have like adoption abortion going through with the pregnancy you know it was one of those clinics where they're like okay we're just gonna show you that abortion is bad and you should have this baby and we're not giving you any alternatives it was one of those clinics so you can really sympathize with her and her struggle because it just seems like all hope is lost then another beautiful thing about the movie is that they did all of this by using mostly images yeah like there was barely any sound barely any talking but the images were so so powerful that like you just got the message by seeing everything happen when you see her on the bus looking through the window just she's desperate like you can feel it you do, nothing needs to be said you can see her punching her stomach to try and get the kid out overdosing on vitamin c like you learn a lot watching this movie and i can see why the new york times had this on their best movies of 2020 list i also had it and i promised you guys this review because it is really a touching movie by the way if you haven't watched my best movies of 2020 go watch it now it will be in the info card above but yeah, it's they just use such powerful images to convey such um, a well-needed message because people need to see what women go through um, on a daily basis. And as I said, abortion aside, this is a beautiful movie to watch. And it shows you, it also shows you, even going back on abortion, it also shows you that it's like, it's should they people should have a choice like i don't want to get into the whole debate here but it really does it without giving you like directly choosing a side if you get what i'm saying so it's one of those movies that show you hey this is what young people go through and another thing i liked is that they never told us how she got pregnant so we don't know if it was a boyfriend if she was abused or whatever but just know that she got pregnant and she doesn't want this pregnancy so yeah, as I said, beautiful images, beautiful message, the acting, the girl touch my Like I felt like 
like they couldn't have any other better actresses the girl who played the star the girl who played her cousin they were really great as i i keep saying this you could feel everything throughout the whole movie it was a good movie so with that said everybody should go and watch this it is a 9 out of 10 for me so yeah remember to follow me on instagram it's the end of this review now so thanks for watching guys and subscribe to my channel okay yeah thanks for watching again